Do you want a drink? No. Well, I do. This is the man who used to come to me for comfort because he lived with a woman who couldn't face life without a drink in her hand. You can't face life at all. Reality, anyway. Yeah, well, we're at a lemonade. I'm just going to put... No, you don't. Slippery Den with his eye on the main chance and the nearest exit. This time, there's no one and nowhere to run to. No forgiving wife or understanding mistress. Not even a teenage slut without the brains to know when you're lying. I'm here, aren't I? That was always your justification, wasn't it? We were all meant to be so overwhelmed by your presence that we forgive you everything else. The broken promises, the betrayals, the way you have of avoiding the issue if anyone needs emotional support. Expecting it, yes. Giving it, never. What's with all the melodrama? You've always known what I am. I've tried to make it work with you more than any other woman in my life because you've never pleaded and you've never whined. And here you are beginning to sound like Angie. I am not Angie. Don't make that mistake. I'd die rather than turn into a masochistic mess like her. Well, now we're getting hysterical. Now, what do you want? A proper life with a man who wants to be with me. Wake up in the same bed every morning and look at me without any need to lie. You're living in cloud cuckoo land, that's your problem. Little tarts like that aren't important. I know that. I'm beginning to realise that no woman is important to you. You think we're all gullible fools, there for the convenience and comfort of Dennis Watts. Well, of course you're important to me. Why else do you think I'm standing here listening to you rabbiting on? You really don't know what I mean, do you? Yeah, well, it's getting a little bit claustrophobic, in it? Can we go for a drive? No. Oh, was a fly on the wall up there, eh? <laughs> they say revenge is sweet. I haven't enjoyed myself so much in my life. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I hope she's giving him hell. <laughs> I'm not avoiding you. I've said I'm sorry. What more do you want? I don't believe it. After all I've said... You still think this is just about your stupid girlfriends, don't you? Well, I can't help it if women fancy me. They always make the first move. Oh, shut up about it. That's not the point. You promised me a new life. And what have I got? Less of you than I had when you lived with her. Well, you're the one who wanted to go back to her own flat. I had to. Can't you see that? We might have a chance away from this place. But no, you've got to be King Rat. Lord of your own little dung heap. Oh, I think it's about time that we faced up to some of this reality that you're so keen on. If you wanted to be treated like a lady, then I suggest that you run away with Ponzi Dario. I might just do that. He's in London right now and he wants to marry me. Have you been carrying on with him? Not in the way you mean. Yes, you have. You've been carrying on with him behind my back. You're the one I just caught with another girl. And I just told you it was nothing. I have every right to see Dario. He's an old friend. He's here on business. Yeah, I bet he is. I'm telling you the truth, which is more than I've ever had from you. You've always known what he feels about me. I've never pretended otherwise. Where's he staying? In a hotel. Where do you think? In a hotel. He knows my situation. He knows I don't love him in the same way. Well, if we've got round to talking about marriage, then something definite's been going on. I used to be in charge of my life. Because of love, I've ended up in this state. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do crave humiliation. It's certainly what I've had. Before I met you, I'd never have believed I could have spent all day in a pub waiting for a man. Well, it was your choice. Oh, look, come on, I want you. Do you? Well, what do you think? Then you're going to have to change. And I don't mean just the other women. I know you well enough to know that that's asking for the moon. I want you to move right away from here. It was a mistake to think we ever had a chance of making it in these surroundings. You're no fool. There are other ways of earning a living besides running pubs. Doing what? Were you going to try and turn me some boring middle-class nine-to-fiver? No, Den, you're clever. There's got to be something if you wanted enough. And what about Sharon? Well, she can come and visit if she wants. Those are my terms. Otherwise, I shall say yes to Dario. Have his children and go and live in Italy as far away from you as I can. Is that what you want? No, it's not what I want. But it's what I'll settle for if I have to. Oh, you don't think I'm going to fall for that one? You're just trying to make me jealous of that whim. Trying to get me to do what you want me to do. I'm not Ange. Yeah, well, I left her for you. I'm up to here in debts and I've got a kid that doesn't talk to me, so don't pull tricks like that on me. I mean it. I love you, but I won't let you destroy me. Yeah, well, I'm not your lovable, fluffy, dago poodle. I know what you want and what you've always wanted. You've never known what I want. Well, don't think you can ever walk out on me. Yes, I can. You're an animal. Mistake, nor did I hear a crash just then. 
Oh, yes, you did. He's terrible when he gets in a temper. Takes a long time to blow, but when he does, run for cover. Smashing up the APO, eh? Mm, again. He put his fist through a window once. She's had it coming a long time, that one. No, he won't hit her, not then. Hang about. If I've got to the chucking things at each other stage, some of that belongs to you. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. It's time you did, then. You're the one living in a B&B &B with nothing. Mm. Listen, tomorrow we'll make a list, eh? Mm -hmm. We'll go and get the best of it back. You are on. It's good you to come round. It's all a bit strange. Yeah, I'd better be getting back. Be like a madass by now. You know, it's horrible. I don't know why Mum can go in there. It's degrading. Mm. It's so, look. What? In the car, it's her. Oh, you want me to do something? No, no, you go back. Leave this to me. Here, are you all right? I don't want to get like that. Did you see that? What sort of a state was she in? Haven't you got any pride at all? Yeah, it's me, mate. That's where I go. You OK? Yeah, never felt better. Should have done it a lot sooner. It's one chapter of my life that's over for good. Well, anyway, Wicks is back. I mean, I'm managing if you want to. Like... Nah, tell him I'll be right down. Things got a bit rough, eh? Yeah, you could say that. Want me to clear it up? Nah, leave it. Why did they do it, eh? Tell me that. What? Women. They're all the same, aren't they? There's Ange, and there's a... Uh, they wind you up and they go and turn the screw until you do something you regret. Don't have to tell me. Look what I've just gone through with Pratt. Yeah, well, I'm a very reasonable bloke. OK. So I'll play the field. Who doesn't? But what have I done to deserve this, eh? There's one cheating on me. There's the other one bleeding me dry. Well, they're both cleared off downstairs, mate. That's one good thing. Yeah, what do I care? They can all be waiting down here with knives in their hand ready to stab me in the back. We drink? Yeah, knocking it back a bit, aren't you? You ever seen me drunk? Nah, mate. I'm celebrating. Freedom. Yeah, look. I've been sitting there staring at that wall for ages. I'm just thinking. Look, I'm sorry I was short with you in the pub, eh? But you know what it's like when I see Pat again. Look, I do understand, you know. And I agree with you about the effect she has on Angie. Just forget it. Look, I'm gonna go about all right? Don't be long. Nah, I just try and calm myself down. <laughs> what a night. Leave it me, Kath. Oh, you didn't drive like that. Well, what are you think? I'm in the car, is all I got left, isn't it? Have I smashed that? And that's it. Shh. Sorry, Kath. Good old Dennis Watts. Skim. Cleaned out for good. Did you know I hear you say drink? No, I'm going to make you a coffee. Yeah, well, I've done it this time, mate. Once and for all, I've blown it for good. I mean, there's Jan, there's Ange, Sharon. I've got debts that'll make you weep. I've got lawyers after me. I'm done for. That nah, not you, mate. She knows something. I loved her. I, I, re I really loved her. I thought she was class, and she turned out to be a tart like the rest of them. I get this bear duvet. Funny how things work out, isn't it? It's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. I'd be feeling really lost if it weren't for him. Don't rush things, though, eh, Shell? I mean, it's early days, yeah? Well, it's not like I don't know him, is it? We've been friends ever since he came here. I really think this is it, Kath. I, I wanted to ask you if we could meet round your place sometime on our own. It's awful not having anywhere to go. Sharon, love, I can't do that. Your mother's my best friend. Well, she don't have to know. I can't lie to her, though, Shell. I feel responsible. If it was my own daughter, I'd still say no. I'd be the same with Ian. It's not just because you're a girl. Yeah, well, look, Kenneth, uh, you've got another customer. I'll speak to you later. Uh, afternoon. Well, what do you want? I've every right to be here. This used to be my own, remember? Yeah, all right, all right. Just don't shout, eh? Ooh, what's the matter? Poor old Denny got a headache, has he? Get to the point. All right, I've come to warn you. I'm going to be popping round tomorrow. There's some things I want to pick up. What things? My things. Well, no-one's stopping you. Oh, come on, we don't have to be like this, do we? You can come here any time you like. I'll be fair with you and Sharon, and you'll be wanting some stuff for the new place. Uh, coffee? No, thanks. Uh, what brought all this on? She ditched you, has she? I'm not talking about that. Look, 
We can be reasonable with each other, can't we? Can we? Well, you'll be needing some dough. And for Sharon's sake. And I thought of a way to help you out. To help us all out. And it ain't gonna do you any good if I go bust, is it? So I was... Okay. I admit the books have got in a bit of a state since you left and I've got a new area manager. And I was just wondering if you could see your way to help me tidy the books up a little bit, like only you can. And I'll make it up to you, apart from the maintenance. <laughs> you must be joking, son. <laughs>